Welcome back to our life on an island. Survival Island with Undugu. Last time, Undugu started fishing in the ocean, and he expanded and improved his house. We also started digging below the surface of the earth and expanding out to find minerals. Then a trader came along who had a lot of components and steel, and I sold my best friend, who was a bird, and disappeared on the oceanic horizon, never to be seen again. Today, we're collecting coconuts, and I have a few more tricks up my sleeve. First we'll need to cut down some trees. We'll need the lumber and other supplies. Now, since Undugu stayed up so late last time, his sleep schedule's all off, so he actually has too much rest, despite the fact that it's the middle of- or it's- it's getting very late in the night now. But he's pretty much a tireless worker, and he never gets any real mental breaks. He's just such a stable guy. And I like it that way. You're special to me. Now, our next major project is going to be research. Quite frankly, he's very stupid right now. But he desperately wants to learn. So by the light of a torch, let's get batteries going ASAP. I also want to rebuild on Dugu's horseshoes pin. And he wants to research, so I say let him. The more we can grind up his intellectual skill, the faster he'll do all of this. And he's already almost at intellectual level 2 after only a few hours of research. Undugu's going to be at this research for batteries for a few days, so I'm just gonna let him get to his work. And we have our quest active for Ship to the Stars, although it's very far away. Again, it's on th almost exactly the opposite side of the world, so it's more feasible to build our own ship. We also would have a- I'm not even sure if it would be possible to get out of the ocean. So, we're stuck here. For a while. And we had a transport pod crash. A theater technician named Zack. He might join us. And what is he like? He's a tortured artist, a fast learner, and slothful. And he is pretty artistic already. But he's gonna die in five hours and... We don't have any medicine. I think we're going to try to save this guy. Because I really like the tortured artist uh, bio. But there's also a very high chance he could die. He has a flamingo leather parka. That's gangster. Okay, Undugu, just try to rescue Zack. If nothing else, he's at least a little bit of medical, uh, medical experience. He's gonna practice surgery on you and probably fail. Very good, very, very good. He's been shot in the torso, stabbed in the right arm, and cut on the right leg. I don't like his chances, but... Yep, zero percent quality. This man is essentially like a test dummy for a medical student. Yep, zero percent quality again, there we go. But he might survive, he might survive. And more visitors from Deralia. Maybe they'll take him away. Uh, at least we got to practice on him. Okay, Zach, just stay out there in the rain. I can't do that to you. We'll at least rescue him so we hopefully have better faction relations. Maybe they'll send more traders. You're gonna love it here, man. It's great where I live. All right, take him away. Take him away. Okay, great. They're taking their wounded guest. They're gonna carry him away. And they'll like me despite the fact that I cannibalize people. Good, there you go. Take away your friend. Goodbye, goodbye. Relations from Duralia have improved a lot. 1 to 17? Okay, we have an active trading partner. Oh, that's fantastic. Just fantastic. Now, a quick scan of the area reveals that this island doesn't have any geothermal vents, which is too bad because I wanted to wall in my power source. While Undugu's strong on his own, I don't think that he'll be able to fend off threats from a power source, and I don't want to have to defend something outside of my base. So I have another sort of plan. And we have a visitor. Hector McGrath. He has a few items to trade. Give me your things. And we're going to make a whole lot of short bows because he has some medicine he's willing to trade with us. And short bows are really the only thing he'll accept. I don't want to give up these components, so. An unfortunate but necessary sacrifice. Ah, he's leaving too early. Never mind, never mind. But he did leave us a gift of two components. You know what? Get back here. If you're leaving us gifts, I, I'll, I'll, I'll still trade with you. All I want is one thing of medicine. That'll make me happy. Thank you, McGrath. So now we have something that might save us if we get struck with the plague or something like that. Seems the rain is clearing up. Let's build a wind turbine here and I'm going to wall this in. Or maybe... I don't want to leave our walls vulnerable moving forward, so I think we need to start cutting stone from coral. We need a secure wall before we can start building power. So let's start our new operation up in here. And this side of the island has plenty of readily grown trees and they're all ready to harvest. He'll finish off his... Oh, he botched construction. Dang, we really needed that steel. That was unlucky, but maybe he'll get it on attempt two. Just try those trees again. Carry them over and build. Build, I say build, build, build. 
Good, don't botch it. Good. Now he can create coral blocks. We'll keep him at an even hundred all the time. Again, he's mowing through trees. Next, we'll take out the blight on our rice. Ah, he's gotten food poisoning from the coconuts. Although it's been a good source of food, it did first. This has been a great source of food, but now he's screwed. Well, food poisoning isn't really that bad. It just slows him down a bit. And we have a new quest, a healer chased by pirates. Okay, Krondorfer is possibly going to join us. She's too frantic to offer more information, but she's being chased by the devils. Well, we could also just draft her and have her taken away if we don't like her. So I say welcome. The more the merrier. And here she is, Krondorfer. She's 62. Do you have any desirable qualities? She's jealous, kind. It's a weird combination. And incapable of violent. She's a healer, and she's decent with plants and cooking. I'm not crazy about her, but, um... Oh, she wants me to name my faction? How about name name survival darwinism and the settlement's name is doo doo no you know we'll name it after our bird that was lost farter farter krondorfer of farter she's been chased by someone named muffin who is a surgeon and just came out of the ocean with a club. Made of marble, she's soaking wet and she's an undergrounder living outdoors. Who are these people? To be honest, I like the invader a little bit more. Maybe we'll capture her and try to convert her to our cause. I like her even better than the person that she chased here. Okay, Krondorfer, just grab a bow. Oh yeah, you're incapable of violence. Well, uh, why couldn't it be the other way around? I like the attacker named Muffin better. Undugu and she would go toe to toe in melee combat since they have the same skill level. And I can't really give myself much of an unfair advantage without maiming her. So I'm going to have to maim her. Krondorfer, you're going to be a permanent cleaner. And you're gonna be a farmer, too. Undugu, just stand behind the spike traps and wait for this. I don't want her to die, though. But I know if Undugu gets hurt, he might have a mental break. Now what, let's just equip the wooden- Oh. You know, I, th I think we're just gonna sit this one out. Muffin, you're, you might die. Sorry, babe. I right, just go about your day inside. Muffin will probably set fire to our non-existent fields. Oh, no, she's destroying the- Oh, goddammit. Why do these people do this shit? You are an internet troll. Okay, uh, that's too bad. Oh, we just doubled our efficiency. Krondorfer, I don't like you, but uh, I need a farmer and you'll be my indentured servant. You can also, oh, no, you, you don't butcher other human beings. I'll leave that to me. I'll do that. Only Undugu gets to do that. That's, that's an Undugu exclusive. You just go about your merry day in your own merry way. No, don't bury that body, Krondorfer. We, you can't have that. I, in fact, unmake the grave. I don't even want, why would you even do that? You know, you're, you're going to conform to my way of life. Conform. You're gonna have to sleep on the ground tonight, Krondorfer. You are not gonna like it here, I guarantee it, but eventually you will change. You too will change. Ah, finally, I've dreamed of having an indentured servant. Now, since she's a planter and a cook, we can have her do those tasks. And we can leave Undugu to concentrate on the more important stuff. Like throwing up and butchering human bodies. Ah, oh, this will really bring his mood up. He needs this right now. And now we can get meal workflow going. We should just clean up our kitchen. Or if you'd call it a kitchen. Technically, it's just outside. Undugu's back in a fine mood because he has cannibalism back. And we're finally creating stone blocks for our new home. Grondorfer's upset about the human butchering, but it was for her own protection, so I'm fine with it. Let her go on a catharsis, let her go crazy. It'll just buff her mood. She's also been insulted by Undugu, and already they don't like each other. This is off to a fantastic start between the two. Actually, exactly as I, as I imagined it would be. No worries, we'll get you both separated before too long. As some rogue seagulls have started taking over my home. I don't like them and we might have to kill- are they gonna eat the- no, they're fine, okay. Go in peace. Go in peace, gulls. My, they're very aggressive, though, with the kiwis, and I think that they usually win these fights against the kiwis. No, this one's pretty- f ooh, this kiwi might murder this seagull. Oh, an embarrassment for all of kiwi kind. Its tail was bitten off. Wow, okay. Great. Animal violence. Ah, he's back in good health and he's cleaning up now. My next task will be to wall in this shoreline and we want to surround it in coral walls. Something like this. We'll just max out the area that we can use for coral. There we go, and he's got his first coral wall. Interesting, interesting. If we go down far enough, we could actually spread out our wind turbine to this area. Now it's an ambitious project, but ultimately I'd like to wall in the lagoon. Just go down the hatch, Undugu. Undugu's building a bed for... 
Krondorfer. I can't say her name. It's weird. Next, we can start to give them coral tiles so that they aren't so miserable in these rooms. Oh, we're being raided by the Gagor Krokiskum kinship. There are definitely a kinship and it's one guy with a club. I feel like these raids aren't that strong. That's all you got? All right, I'm playing with fire here, but this guy would be another great capture. I'm gonna see if I can fight him after he gets through one spike trap. Good name on this guy, Flamingo. White Flamingo. Fall back behind the wall. Fall back, my people. Fall back. It's time to create a secret door next. Now, as our invader comes in, I'll create a secret door here. Good, now you're drafted. Get outside. Ah, he, uh, he's setting fire to the fields. Come over here, come on. Mm, now we're going to have to shoot him. We're going to have to shoot him. Fuck. Okay, okay, get back behind the wall. Get back behind the wall. Uh, ooh. Okay, make yourself useful. Krondorfer, go put out the fire. Okay, Flamingo is headed back and shoot him in the face. Now run. Okay, don't get hurt. Don't, don't get hurt. Oh, wow, that is not... That is so ill-advised. Okay, Kromdorfer put out the fire. Okay, this is now a prisoner room. On Dugu, we need to capture this man. He's actually quite good, and I want to bring him over to our side. Flamingo and Undugu. It's a perfect combination. Okay, tend to him, but no medicine. No medicine, and he has been st Oh, shit, he's been stabbed in the heart. Mm, you know what, Kromdorfer, you take care of him, Undugu put out the fire. That's a much better solution. This makes me happier. And she'll also be needing a new bed. She's going to have to sleep in the same room as Undugu. I fear. Okay, use your magical hands. Use your magical hands. Oh, this fire is spreading a lot. And we have a low psychic drone. Mmm, thanks, Randy. Thanks. I shouldn't have challenged you. Well, we expected her to have a catharsis anyway. Don't- okay. Well, we just lost the medicine. We just lost the medicine. Can you send rain, too? I just want another maniac to join me. There's nothing so- we didn't take anything off of him, so it's- he's- there's nothing so debilitating. <laughs> Come on there, you can do it. You can do it, it's just spreading rapidly. And she's going on a tantrum, did she at least finish with him? She did finish tending to him! Fantastic job! Okay, Undugu's going to eat a meal so that he doesn't go mad. And then right after that, can you please put out that fireman? Okay, Undugu, uh, I might beat her up if she tries to destroy something valuable. Will it be something valuable? Nope, alright, she's fine. Just the walls, just the walls, that's... The fire is almost beaten out. Good, good. And we still have some of the medicine left. <laughs> Very bad condition, but okay. Oh, she she recovered. Great, and now she's gonna tend to him. She got a poor quality bed, but... Yeah, well, I guess that flamingo is more important. Her mood's back up. Very good, very good. One night of insanity followed by a week of stability. He should be difficult to recruit, but we're still going to persist. Okay, rim crabs have joined our colony. Abandoned or lost have wandered into the area. Food! They really do look like the Kenshi ones. That's ten rim crabs, though, on our side. I need to train them to attack people. I need to train them all. Okay, just do your worst, lest crabs be sicked on you. This will be amazing. They'll at least defend us from the local seagulls, which have decimated the local kiwi population. And I can just picture them, a whole farm of crabs patrolling my lagoon, walled in, fighting an army of mechanoids that- Yeah, I'll leave the rest to your imagination. Now I'm going to start taking Undugu off of cooking because it's just too much of a side job for him to perform. Instead, train the crabs using coconuts. The crab whisperer, they called him. Crabs belong in birdland. Stay away from my home. God, imagine trying to train a crab and recruit a man named Flamingo. Ooh, the crabs have gotten the plague. More medical experience. That's what I see this as. We'll build them crab beds over here. I guess they'll use these. Oh, Grim Crab 7, yes, just take a- take a load off. Good, Krondorfer will care for you. Poor Rim Crab. Just feed the crabs, feed them. Use the good meals, use all of the good meals. We have pretty much infinite coconuts. And food is not a problem. Look at all these crabs, they're like, ah, I couldn't eat another bite. Good, just what I wanted. Train them to be a crab circus. Oh, an eclipse! What does crash- oh, with ship chunks, alright. Oh, we'll take that, it's free components. We must be in the middle of the Bermuda Triangle. I can't think of any other way to describe what's going on. Ten crabs have joined me. Spaceship chunks are falling out of the sky. People keep coming up out of the ocean. At least it's entertainment. I think we'll also move the rim crab beds over here. It's just not convenient for me to move this far every day. Oh! No, he was so young! Fuck! The plague has killed Rim Crab 7. Is it gross to eat him? Oh, Rim Crab 4 has developed an immunity. I told you there was Darwinism going on on this island. Ooh, prison break! Ooh, no. We did- we were doing such a good job with you, though. Okay, we need to- 
He just walked out the door. The door was open. Why was the door open? Why was the door open? Okay, well, at least he's just hitting... Okay, let's use Krondorfer, who's on a sad wander as a meat shield. Uh, he's bringing a tusk with him. He's near the weapons, too. That can't be good. Ooh, shit. Shit, he has a bow. Okay, we're going to need to force him into some- Oh, he went down the hatch! He's underground! What, what is he doing next? That was weird. Okay, here's what you do, Undugu. Shoot him before he gets himself killed, and it- Oh, uh, come on. Oh, go down, baby. He's not dead. Okay, we need to capture- We need to capture him again. He is going to be so pissed about this. Jesus, you will regret that, man. I'm going to recruit you. I want this guy in my life. I want him. Thank God you're not dead. No, don't wander into that, Krondorfer. Oh, she got stabbed with a thrumbo horn, too, in the right leg. And a seagull is self-tamed. Okay, seagull won. This is turning out to be very Randy random. Everyone is dead and a bunch of animals have joined us. Classic Randy. Well, you won't die again. Eventually, I want to use you to mine out underneath the island for me. And I can't argue because it's more medical practice for- Well, medical malpractice for Andugu. I hope she recovers from her stab. Oh, all my crabs got the flu. All right, crabs, you're on your own. I got enough people to worry about. Look at all the blood on the floor right now. I can hardly find time in the day for horse shoes. And finally, he has a mediocre room. Maybe he'll join us now. Now I have a vision of power and I want it set up here. We can wall in this section and have walled in power and make it safe for our people. Okay, don't mess this one up, Undugu. I got one good chance. And he got it. Now we can't do much with it right now, but it is a source of power for when we find more steel. And we got a bulk goods trader. That's something we needed. This might be a, an answer to our prayers. Everything is tainted right now. Oh, please accept my crap. I'm selling them the seagull, and I'm buying a lot more steel. Finally, we'll have power. Build power conduits through the walls, and let there be light. At long last, at long last. We've waited for this day. And I'm selling off some of the crabs. I need the components more. Goodbye, Seagull 1, Rim Crab 2, and Rim Crab 3. A better life awaits you out there in the ocean. Oh, he's saying goodbye. He doesn't want to go. It's a bittersweet leaving. I think five crabs is plenty to keep me company. Or what are we at? I still have seven crabs. Which is more than enough. Oh, and they left a gift of 120 silver. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. A wanderer joined from the Pex. He's willing to contribute, but he will not leave voluntarily. If I don't want Pex, I can banish him, sell him into slavery, or simply kill him. Right? He does. God, look at that flow. He's an inventor with an auto pistol. He's a transhumanist. He's soaking wet. Slow learner misogynist. Okay, this is officially the colony where everybody hates each other, but he's good at crafting. All right, I'll take him. He's fine. He can craft coral blocks all the time for all I care. And now they can all sleep in separate crappy rooms. And we get the flu. Growing pains here, growing pains here. We want Undugu to survive, so we'll give him really good medicine. Quality 100%. He'll be fine. It's pecs that I'm worried about, but now we have herbal medicine. We will beat the crap out of him just so we can get him into bed. Rescue him, care for him, and then... Go back to bed. Come on, you shouldn't be up and about. You need a, you have to stay in bed for your flu. Much better, much better. And he'll be fine. We're having a thunderstorm burn down a lot of trees on the island, but there's too much going on at home. I think I just have to leave this one to spread. The number of trees is crazy now, anyway. And the rains put out the fire again. And last but not least, I'm going to start storing things underground. It's hideous up here, and we should just get rid of it all. If we have the Z-Levels mod, let's make use of it. Dump everything downstairs. Oh, and one last- this is gonna be our last test before... safety. We're being raided by the devils. These people are- ooh, they're pretty well armed too. Okay, Rim Crabs, you know what to do. Okay, I made a new zone called Attack for the Rim Crabs. Just hang out in here in the lagoon. You all stay in there and I'll shoot them from behind a wall. Pex has to stay in bed this time. I think Undugu is well enough to fight though. I've raised you for this. To pinch the living. Okay, they're coming from across the- Are they going in cover? Oh, they're going by the beach. They'll be attacking on the left side. That's actually better than I thought what would happen. Undugu is practically recovered and Pex still needs to stay in bed. This one's gonna be a shootout, but I'm keeping Undugu in cover. Maybe they'll come for my crabs first. Good, good, get a shot in. Get back near the wall. Stay in cover, stay in cover. There go the rim crabs, there they go. There goes one. After him, after him, I say. Consume him. Consume him. Oh, shit. Okay, fall back. There's two shooters now. Go out, crabs, go out. The valiant, the valiant attack. Please, oh, help me, God. Why did I recruit an army of crabs to help me? 
At least they're cannon fodder. Good after her, after her. I need to bring in Pex. It's too dangerous. Go grab that pistol. And Undugu can stand in the- Good! Ah, they're fleeing! Let him run. We've defended our home. We've defended it. Oh, and the crabs are eating her! Good for you, crabs. Good for you. They ate her head off. Back to Birdland. Now Undugu's developed an immunity to his flu. Pex is just about there, and it looks like he'll pull through with that tending quality. Undugu can repair the walls. And now I'll set him off to mining out the rest of our new stockpile zone. Okay, Pex has developed an immunity and he should recover. And Pex seems to have started hauling things downstairs, so we should be organized soon. Great, he's bringing down all the supplies. I'm genuinely excited they have an underground storage base now. We can expand that to hit more of the walls. And Undugu can finish off with the floors. We have a slaver visiting. I think this guy's already come to our base. But we don't really need any of this, nor can we afford it. So, yeah, I want to recruit our man anyway. Now with everything stored safely underground, now oh, we got a gift. A short bow from their union. And if not perfect, our island home is safe and we're ready for a new expansion tomorrow. I'd say that we want to replace all the walls with coral, probably wall in our power supply, actually get batteries going, and then start to build underground because this is going to be a new area we can work in. Anyway, I'm really enjoying this colony. I like doing fewer colonists right now because there's just... I, I, I can focus on the role play of it. I don't, know, I don't know why, it's just more gratifying to see one colonist progress a lot right now. Undugu's skills have come a really long way. He's particularly good at construction. He just needs artistic. We'll get him in there with some art eventually, but... He's grinded a lot. Or ground a lot. Gr I guess you grind... Whatever he's done. He is my special colonist and I love him. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Give me some uh, crab name recommendations. I have some in mind, but I want to hear from you. What is your crab name idea? Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.